Yo, where, where should we have them come out of? Our hands right here? Uh, Logan, we want explosions in each one of our hands. In three, two, one. With dramatic fucking crazy music. Like, I want us, we're like storming the gates of Mordor so that we can put the ring in, 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 in the hot fiery flames and destroy it. Explosion, 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 explosion. Can you make a rainbow cut out of my cut? Uh, out of my cut? Yeah, put, yo, Logan, put a rainbow coming out of his uh, hand. Rainbow, not Rambo. Yeah, no, no. Put Rambo on this hand <laughs> and then put rainbow. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Put a rainbow. What is going on guys, DeviousMary38 here back with another video and if you guys have been watching any of Nadechat's vlogs, you guys have seen these explosions. Logan is a freaking beast. If you guys don't know, Logan Dodson edits Nadechat's vlogs and stuff. I've uh, known of him for a while. I've actually hit him up before and he's a super cool dude and I'd love to work with him one day. So Logan, if you're watching this dude, hope to meet you one day, man. Uh, but I wanted to do this tutorial because I know probably a ton of you guys are wondering how does he do these different explosion and fire effects in Nadechat's video. And I kind of wanted to break it down for you guys today and uh, just give you guys a somewhat easy tutorial on how to do it. I'm not the best at explaining things, so I'm sorry if this isn't the best tutorial, but I'm going to try my best to explain it to you guys and make it super easy for you guys to do. So getting right into it, uh, I already have clips imported here. I just recorded this off my webcam. It's no special clip. Uh, it just whatever you guys want to do it on. It does not matter if it's like off a phone or off a uh, DSLR or whatever it is as long as you have a clip that you want to add explosions and you can get it into Premiere Final Cut whatever you edit on then it will work out perfect so anyway I just recorded this dumb clip obviously I just recorded it right before the video I'm wearing the same same shirt uh, but anyway I'm gonna break it down for you guys so I have all these layers hidden right now I'm gonna show you guys kind of uh, the different steps that go into it I, I felt like it took too long to actually go step by step to do it I would kind of want to make this a quicker tutorial so I'm just gonna unhide all these layers here so you guys can actually see what's going on I'm gonna play this for you guys you guys can kind of see here we got fire going on in the background we got explosions coming out of my hands and then we got the big explosion overall just kind of going everywhere so uh, there is a couple things too. I know uh, we'll, we'll take a look so we're gonna start off first with just adding the explosions on my hand so we're gonna hide these layers up here hide that one and we'll hide that one so all we have right now is the one explosion coming out of my hand uh, basically what you guys are gonna want to do is uh, any way you guys can get the uh, video it doesn't matter if it's on YouTube or if you buy it from somebody somewhere whatever it is uh, I don't know how Logan gets his explosions I'm sure probably just on YouTube somewhere there's so many of them as you guys can see here but basically all I did was search explosions green screen on uh, YouTube and there's so many of these videos and if you guys know a way to download YouTube videos or screen recorder whatever you want to do go for that and and any way you can just basically get it on your computer to where you can import it into your editing software that will work I just went for the first video again I don't know what he uses specifically but we're just gonna go with uh, that one here so if you guys take a look you can see the explosion is kind of on my hand what you're gonna want to do first is drag it into here you'll see it in your uh, obviously in your project folders and you'll just basically go through I got the explosions pack so there's a bunch of different little things in here that um, you can pick from I went with the one I think it was in the middle somewhere but you just could basically want to go look through and try to find the one that best fits your scene so in this scene I'm flipping my hand out and I want the explosion to come from my hand upwards so this one seemed like the best explosion to kind of add to it um, and I'm not really gonna go into crazy detail with changing the different green screen options as you guys will see here so do not mind if it looks like crap I'm just for tutorial sake just don't want to go crazy in depth I want to keep it as simple as possible so once you find the one that you want if you get a pack or if you just download a single video file you can drag that onto your section here and if you guys have one of these packs like me to make it easier on yourself use the I and the O key on your keyboard and you can select a certain part of the clip if you hit I to hit your end point and then say you wanted like that explosion and then when it's over you can hit your out point and you can also use your arrow keys to go frame by frame to get a pr super precise uh, clip so once you have that you can just take this if you want the audio if your uh, explosions have audio with it as well you can drag straight from here and it'll add the audio clip with it as well if you just want the uh, video clip itself and you add the sound effects later you can just grab uh, right from there so you'll drag that on top of your normal video footage here and you'll just have to basically resize it and stuff but the main thing obviously it being a green screen background you're gonna want to over head over to your effects tab and you're gonna want to search key uh, I'm not really sure I haven't gone into too much depth with the different keys I've seen to use ultra key and it works out perfect as you guys can see here I don't know that's the one I've always used I'm not sure what one Logan uses 
uh, but ultra key seems to work out perfect so you basically you'll just take that and you'll drag it onto your explosion layer and it will do a pretty good job of getting rid of it but you're basically want to gonna click on this pen dropper and you'll just click right on the green part of the video clip and it should do a pretty good job of masking it out it does give you all these different little settings you can go in and drop down these little menus it's crazy in depth again I'm not gonna do that for this video but if you guys want to kind of tweak different things it will change like the look and make it look a little bit different so I'm just gonna get rid of that just so it doesn't make it skip at all but you can see here it looks pretty good um, and then if you guys want to you're gonna want to change the scale and position obviously to match wherever you want it to be whether it's coming out of your hand your head or things like that whatever you want to do put it where you want it and it should be fairly good so this is as simple as it gets putting the explosion on there there you go you have it on there but one of the cool things that he did in his video that I'm sure some of you guys might have not noticed, just uh, I'm a video editor, video shooter, uh, just I look at literally everything in so much detail. So I noticed it right away when I saw it. One of the times I think Nadeshot or Hex or somebody is moving their hands in the flame or the explosion is kind of moving with it. So one of the things you can do to actually get that same effect, I think you could do something similar in After Effects uh, to do it, but it's just After Effects is crazy in depth and I just want to, again, keep it as simple as possible. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick keyframe in Premiere to actually get it uh, looking fairly good and you can go way more in depth to tweak it as well if you want so basically obviously I did it with both of my hands so I basically just copied this explosion layer from this hand drag it up and have another explosion to add on my other hand so I just changed the position and got it to where I liked it but you can see I didn't do a good job which I should have moved my hands more than the thing because I I don't know whatever if you have a, a little movement shot where you want to keep the explosion with it um, you'll see here I don't really move my hand that much but you're basically gonna wanna find the part where your hand's still, and then uh, you're gonna wanna keep your uh, place marker there, or you can use this as well up here. You wanna keep that there, and then you're gonna come up to the um, position and scale, uh, you guys can see right here, and you're gonna wanna click uh, on this um, stopwatch, or whatever you wanna call it, the clock right here, and it should light up blue like this, and it should drop a keyframe right on your timeline. So what that basically is gonna do is allow you to uh, go further down in the clip, and you're, you can change these numbers and stuff, and it will basically animate it, and it's a super easy way to animate. Uh, again, you can go and do crazy, crazy depth and do really crazy things with it, but again, I'm keeping it simple for the video. So basically all I did is set the point right here. You guys can see that's kind of where my head's moving still, and then if we kind of go a couple frames over you can see my hand starts to drift to the left a little bit so all I did is kind of go keyframe uh, by keyframe and just kind of tweak this a little bit you can see you can kind of move it back and forth if you use your arrow keys you can do it super precise and you can kind of just keep moving over I think you can actually use your page okay maybe that doesn't work uh, sometimes you can use your like page up and page down but for some reason it's not working I don't know uh, but anyway you can just click on this and use your arrow keys and you can see here it's going frame by frame and you can just kind of keep tweaking this to kind of keep it in the middle of your hand or whatever you want to do with it and then once you get to the end of your clip you can uh, do whatever you want with it I kind of just have it staying there again for tutorial purposes but you can kind of see here if you look closely that the flame is actually staying with my hand a little bit and it kind of animates it to kind of give it that effect that it's sitting on my hand and exploding from it and kind of staying with it I don't know it looks a little bit better in my opinion than just kind of keeping it generic like uh, you'll see in the the first part here where the flame just kind of sits there my hand moves around a little bit and the flame just kind of still comes out of it it looks a little bit weird uh, but yeah so that's how you can kind of animate it get that effect and it looks pretty cool and then you can see here uh, once we add this effect back on uh, this other layer um, you can see that I do the kind of big arm thing like there's a big explosion coming and you can see here that just boom the whole screen fills up uh, same thing again you're just gonna want to find another clip depending on if it's a separate clip or if it's in the same pack that you downloaded you can just cut that clip out drag it on top of your timeline what you can do to save you some time is actually uh, especially if it's from like the same video you can actually just right click on your first explosion layer that you already added the keying layer or the keying effect to you can actually right click on that and just come up and hit copy and then you can actually go on your new layer and just hit paste and it should look fairly decent you might have to tweak a couple of things uh, in the actual keying options but for the most part it should look pretty good again obviously I'm not going crazy in depth with it but you can see there's a little bit of green I could tweak that up and make it look a little bit better but basically I just scaled this up to kind of fill up the whole screen so it's just a super big explosion and it looks pretty bad because it just cuts away right away but again we're not here to make an actual uh, good looking vlog or good looking explosion I just want to show you guys how to do it so there you go there's the big explosion but now one of the other things I wanted to add that's a little bit more difficult but it's kind of easy if once you get used to it I had a hard time at first uh, kind of getting the hang of it 
but uh, one of the things that I think he does too is does a little bit of masking. Now basically what that is, is allowing, uh, kind of giving your video more depth. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna actually uncheck these layers here and you guys can see that we actually have a little bit of fire going on the dresser in the background. But you guys can see here that obviously I'm in the foreground, I'm like in the middle of the screen and you can tell that the TV and the dresser is obviously behind me just cause you can see that I'm in front of it. So, and then another thing you can see here is that these coats hanging up are actually also covering this. So you can kind of tell it gives you the illusion that, or not illusion, it's actually in front of it, but it gives you that picture when you're looking at it, you can tell that the TV and the dresser are behind these coats. But um, when you actually put the fire layer on, again, this is just another video that I downloaded, scale on, or scaled it down, kind of changed the scale and position, rotated a little bit to kind of line up straight with the dresser. If I actually hide this mask layer that I already did, you guys can see here that when the flame comes across, it looks really unrealistic because the flame is actually coming across these coats, even though you guys see that the flame is on the dresser in the background. It just looks super, super weird and it kind of gives off a weird, weird look to the viewer. So what you can do is actually do a little bit of masking and this is gonna go a lot easier if you have a static shot to where like I'm sitting here, like the camera's not moving and it makes it a lot easier. It will take a lot more time and probably a lot more stress unless you really love masking uh, to do like a moving shot if you have like a gimbal or a handheld or whatever you're doing if you want to mask it to something uh, or kind of mask something out and kind of keep it in motion. I don't know. It's a lot harder, but since this is a static shot, this is really easy to do. So all I did is actually take my base video layer of me. I just uh, held alt and make sure it's selected. You can see your hair, it's white and just drag it all the way to the top so that the video layer is on top. So you guys can see here, basically what you're gonna wanna do is click on the pen tool here and you're basically gonna want to draw a mask around whatever you're trying to uh, basically hide. So you guys can see here, since the coats are the thing that I wanna hide, I drew a mask by just clicking this pen tool all around and then selecting the first point and it'll create this little box around here. And you can kinda go into the settings again with this, the feathering, the opacity and expansion and all that and mess with it even more. Um, one thing that I did want to say too is the feathering, especially for something like this to where um, it's like a solid layer and it doesn't really need any feathering, you wanna make sure that the feathering is turned down all the way because if you, if you guys see here, if you turn it up, you can see that the flame kind of like blends into the coat and it kind of looks a little weird and obviously the coat's like a solid layer so I'm going to turn that all the way off I do not want it to feather at all so you guys can see it, it gives it that more effect and it kind of gives your eyes and you can kind of tell that it's actually behind the coats if you're going for that that visual so now if we play the video you guys can see here that the flame is actually hidden behind the coat and it looks a little bit more realistic again sorry my computer here is having a hard time recording and editing at the same time but if we go frame by frame here you can see that the fire is actually hidden behind the coat but one other thing I wanted to show you guys that is a little bit more complicated even more again I don't want to go too crazy in depth uh, but you guys can see here when I move my hands I'm actually gonna hide the other layers just because it kind of gets in the way with the bigger explosion but when I move my hands like this you can see that the flame is still kind of getting in front of my arm and I recorded this on my webcam so that's why like the really fast movement shots are super blurry like this which is it's gonna be a little bit more of a pain to edit if you are shooting at a high frame rate like 120 frames or even 60 it's gonna look a lot better just because you have more frames to work with but I think this webcam only shoots like 30 so that's why it looks like that but if you guys are shooting at a higher frame rate it should look a lot better but you can see here that the flames kind of going in front of my arm and I move it down and it's still looking a little bit weird. So what we're gonna do is kind of add a keyframe mask basically on my arm to kind of give it that effect that uh, my arm is in front of the dresser and the TV and the fire. So what I'm gonna do again, I'm actually gonna add another video track here and I'm gonna duplicate this layer again so we can just um, click on this layer. We're gonna drag it up and just kind of put it right on top of this again. So now if we look at it, it looks like no effects are on there, but what we're gonna do is actually go to the part where my arm crosses this line where we have the fire at. So we're gonna kind of skip to that. So let's kind of go right to where it's gonna cross it, which again, shooting at 30 frames on this webcam is not very good, but I think this is probably where, yeah, it looks like this is probably gonna be the first part because the flame kind of goes across here. So we're gonna click on this layer. Again, we're gonna hit on the mask. We're gonna draw a mask around my arm and we can kind of zoom in here to make it a little bit better. Again, this looks super bad just because of the frame rate, but again, I'm just gonna do kind of like a rough mask around my arm and kind of get like a little effect here and just kind of go frame by frame. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do too is you're gonna to wanna to also hit the keyframe on the mask path. So that way when you move your keyframes after you skip a frame in the video, it will go along with the dots uh, and, and keep it there. So we're gonna to have to just drag these up. Basically, you're just gonna to have to keep adjusting them. It is a lengthy process and it does take a decent amount of time depending on what you're doing. Uh, and for some reason, there we go. I'm trying to drag 
this out. So yeah, you just basically have to move these around here to kind of get it to, to basically kind of almost cover your arm. You just want to keep it on the outside. Uh, again, this is just going to be a super rough cut. I'm going to skip ahead just so you guys don't have to see me go through every frame here and do it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So here is the finished mask guys you guys can see here we have all these keyframes now if you guys take a look we can see the actual mask and you guys can see that if you follow along uh, and you kind of keep it on there you guys can see it actually looks pretty good again I did this as rough as possible you guys can see here it's not the best but let's actually take a look at it when it's full speed and see actually how it looks so you guys can see there even just with that quick movement again my webcam's not that good uh, it doesn't really matter for the purpose of the tutorial but it does look fairly good and it looks a lot better than before when the flame was actually on top of my arm it kind of gives that depth effect that it's kind of just chilling in the background and uh, we'll play that again for you guys. You guys can kind of see there. Again, the flames kind of on the table, the coats in front of it as well. And then when I move my arm uh, like that, you guys can see there that it actually makes it look like it is uh, behind me. And I don't know, I think it looks a lot better than actually having it uh, like it was before. So I don't know guys, hopefully that wasn't too complicated. I tried to keep it as simple as possible for you guys. Obviously he does uh, different other stuff too, especially with the sound effects. I'm not really gonna go into that. You guys are, should be, if you guys are editors, you guys should know you can search sound effects effects on the internet whatever you can kind of uh, put them right down in the audio tracks here and just kind of match them up with the explosions just do the timing or again if the video files that you guys download with the explosions come with audio they're automatically going to be down there regardless uh, just for the sake of the video I just I'm not going to go into the audio side of it but uh, it is pretty cool and uh, there you guys go hopefully that uh, will help you guys out we'll throw on all the layers now and see what it looks like but let's take a look at it with all the layers uh, actually on now so you guys can see here we got the fire going in the background we got the explosion we got this explosion tracking kind of with my hand and then we had the big explosion and then you guys can kind of see the fire here is on top just because it's on top of the layer what we could do to fix that actually uh, since that's the the big green screen where we can actually just add another track and actually drag that up there I forgot about that so we'll add that uh, you can do that and then we if we drag it all the way up here this should actually fix the problem so now if we take a look at it, you guys can see here we got the flame going across, we got the flame coming out of my hand, we got the keyframe flame on my hand, and then we have the big explosion. You guys can see that it kind of covers the whole screen, and then we got the flame still going in the back. So I hopefully that helped you guys out. Again, I know some of you guys might have been wondering. I kind of looked in the comment section of the video, and a couple people were asking, like, I like how you do it I'm sure probably maybe beginner video editors or maybe even advanced video editors I don't know it's pretty easy to do I'm sure Logan probably just obviously being for Nate Shots blog he wanted to make it look as best as possible as he could so I'm sure it took him a lot longer to do that than I just did here again just for a tutorial wise I didn't want to make it too complicated for you guys especially if this is something new that you're just kind of getting into learning about masking and maybe doing a little bit of keyframing and things like that so uh, anyway guys that is it for the video hopefully that helped you out again shout out Logan man he's such a dope dude again I hope to meet him one day and maybe even uh work with him uh video related wise he's super dope and uh shout out to him for doing that i love like when i first saw that in the video dude it was literally so funny just nay chat saying that and then flames and stuff just coming out and just from an editor's standpoint like i could just see him literally going frame by frame and doing all the masking things to actually make it look really really good for his vlog and it definitely did so shout out logan shout out nate chat uh that's super dope and again hopefully this helped you guys out if it did be sure to hit that like button if you guys want to see maybe some more tutorials uh editing wise again i'm not the best at uh uh, talking and try to explaining things so hopefully I did good uh, let me know in the comment section below don't roast me too hard uh, but again if that uh, helped you guys out at all be sure to hit that like button be sure to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video I'm Devious Marine 38 and I'm out peace